Lydia, Assyrian, Ludu, Greek, Lydia, Lydia, Turkish, Lydia was an Iron Age kingdom of Western Asia Minor located generally east of ancient Ionia in the modern western Turkish provinces of Usak, Manisa and inland Izmir. Its population spoke an Anatolian language known as Lydian. Its capital was Sardis. The kingdom of Lydia existed from about 1200 BC to 546 BC. At its greatest extent, during the 7th century BC, it covered all of western Anatolia. In 546 BC, it became a province of the Achaemenid Persian Empire, known as the Satrapy of Lydia or Sparta in Old Persian. In 133 BC, it became part of the Roman province of Asia. Coins are said to have been invented in Lydia around the 7th century BC. Topic. Defining Lydia The endonym Sferd the name the Lydians called themselves survives in bilingual and trilingual stone carved notices of the Achaemenid Empire, the Satrapy of Sparta, Old Persian, Aramaic Saparda, Babylonian Sapardu, Elamitic Isbarda, Hebrew Separad. These in the Greek tradition are associated with Sardis, the capital city of King Yigas, constructed during the 7th century BC. The region of the Lydian Kingdom was during the 15th-14th centuries part of the Arzawa Kingdom. However, the Lydian language is not usually categorized as part of the Luwic subgroup, as are the other nearby Anatolian languages Luwian, Karyon, and Lycian. An Etruscan, Lydian association has long been a subject of conjecture. The Greek historian Herodotus stated that the Etruscans came from Lydia, repeated in Virgil's epic poem The Aeneid, an Etruscan-like language was found on the Lemnos steel from the Aegean Sea island of Lemnos. However, the decipherment of Lydian and its classification as an Anatolian language mean that Etruscan and Lydian were not even part of the same language family. Furthermore, a mitochondrial DNA study 2013 suggests that the Etruscans were probably an indigenous population, showing that Etruscans appear to fall very close to a Neolithic population from Central Europe and to other Tuscan populations, strongly suggesting that the Etruscan civilization developed locally from the Villanovan culture, and genetic links between Tuscany and Anatolia date back to at least 5,000 years ago during the Neolithic. Geography. <laughs> The boundaries of historical Lydia varied across the centuries. It was bounded first by Mysia, Caria, Phrygia and coastal Ionia. Later, the military power of Aleuts and Croesus expanded Lydia, which, with its capital at Sardis, controlled all Asia Minor west of the river Hales, except Lycia. After the Persian conquest the river Meander was regarded as its southern boundary, and during Imperial Roman times Lydia comprised the country between Mysia and Caria on the one side and Phrygia and the Aegean Sea on the other. Topic. Language The Lydian language was an Indo-European language in the Anatolian language family, related to Luwian and Hittite. Due to its fragmentary attestation, the meanings of many words are unknown but much of the grammar has been determined. Similar to other Anatolian languages, it featured extensive use of prefixes and grammatical particles to chain clauses together. Lydian had also undergone extensive syncope, leading to numerous consonant clusters atypical of Indo-European languages. Lydian finally became extinct during the 1st century BC. History Early history, Myonia and Lydia Lydia developed after the decline of the Hittite Empire in the 12th century BC. In Hittite times, the name for the region had been Arzawa. According to Greek source, the original name of the Lydian kingdom was Myonia, Myonia or Myonia, Homer Iliad e. 865, v. 43, she. 431 refers to the inhabitants of Lydia as Myonis. Homer describes their capital not as Sardis but as Hyde Iliad XX. 385, Hyde may have been the name of the district in which Sardis was located. Later, Herodotus Histories I. 7 adds that the Maones were renamed Lydians after their king Lydus, Lydos son of Atys, during the mythical epic that preceded the Heraclid dynasty. This etiological eponym served to account for the Greek ethnic name Lydoi. 
like the Hebrew term for Lydians, Ludim, Laudim as found in the book of Jeremiah 46.9, has been similarly considered, beginning with Flavius Josephus, to be derived from Lud son of Shem. However, Hippolytus of Rome 234 AD offered an alternative opinion that the Lydians were descended from Ludim, son of Mizraim. During biblical times, the Lydian warriors were famous archers. Some Maywans still existed during historical times in the upland interior along the river Hermas, where a town named Myonia existed, according to Pliny the Elder Natural History Book v. 30 and Hierocles author of Topic: <laughs> In Greek mythology Lydian mythology is virtually unknown, and their literature and rituals lost due to the absence of any monuments or archaeological finds with extensive inscriptions, therefore, myths involving Lydia are mainly from Greek mythology. For the Greeks, Tantalus was a primordial ruler of mythic Lydia, and Niobe his proud daughter, her husband Amphine associated Lydia with Thebes in Greece, and through Pelops the line of Tantalus was part of the founding myths of Mycenae's second dynasty. In reference to the myth of Bellerophon, Carl Carini remarked, in The Heroes of the Greeks 1959, p. 83, as Lycia was thus connected with Crete, and as the person of Pelops, the hero of Olympia, connected Lydia with the Peloponnesos, so Bellerophontes connected another Asian country, or rather two, Lycia and Caria, with the kingdom of Argos. In Greek myth, Lydia had also adopted the double axe symbol, that also appears in the Mycenaean civilization, the Labris. Omphale, daughter of the river Iardanos, was a ruler of Lydia, whom Heracles was required to serve for a time. His adventures in Lydia are the adventures of a Greek hero in a peripheral and foreign land. During his stay, Heracles enslaved the Itones, killed Silius, who forced passers by to hoe his vineyard, slew the serpent of the river Sangarios, which appears in the heavens as the constellation of Phiucus, and captured the Simeon tricksters, the Circopes. Accounts tell of at least one son of Heracles who was born to either Omphale or a slave girl, Herodotus Histories I. Seven says this was Alcius who began the line of Lydian Heraclidae which ended with the death of Candoul c. 687 BC. Diodorus Siculus .8 and Ovid Heroides 9.54 mention a son called Lamos, while Pseudo Apollodorus Bibliotheque 2.7.8 gives the name Agelaus and Pausanias 2.21.3 names Tyrsinus as the son of Heracles by the Lydian woman. All three heroic ancestors indicate a Lydian dynasty claiming Heracles as their ancestor. Herodotus refers to a Heraclid dynasty of kings who ruled Lydia, yet were perhaps not descended from Omphale. He also mentions the recurring legend that the Etruscan civilization was founded by colonists from Lydia led by Tyrrhenus, brother of Lydus. Dionysus of Halicarnassus was skeptical of this story, indicating that the Etruscan language and customs were known to be totally dissimilar to those of the Lydians. Later chronologists ignored Herodotus' statement that Agron was the first Heraclid to be a king, and included his immediate forefathers Alcius, Belus and Ninus in their list of kings of Lydia. Strabo 5 .2. has Ates, father of Lydus and Tyrrhenus, as a descendant of Heracles and Omphale but that contradicts virtually all other accounts which name Ates, Lydus and Tyrrhenus among the pre-Heraclid kings and princes of Lydia. The gold deposits in the river Pactolus that were the source of the proverbial wealth of Croesus Lydia's last king were said to have been left there when the legendary king Midas of Phrygia washed away the Midas touch in its waters. In Euripides' tragedy the Bacchae, Dionysus, while he is maintaining his human disguise, declares his country to be Lydia. <laughs> First coinage According to Herodotus, the Lydians were the first people to use gold and silver coins and the first to establish retail shops in permanent locations. It is not known, however, whether Herodotus meant that the Lydians were the first to use coins of pure gold and pure silver or the first precious metal coins in general. Despite this ambiguity, this statement of Herodotus is one of the pieces of evidence most often cited on behalf of the argument that Lydians invented coinage, at least in the West, although though the first coins under Aliot's eye, reigned c. 591 c.560 BC were neither gold nor silver but an alloy of the two called electrum. The dating of these first stamped coins is one of the most frequently debated topics of ancient numismatics, with dates ranging from 700 BC to 550 BC, but the most common 
common opinion is that they were minted at or near the beginning of the reign of King Aliots, sometimes referred to incorrectly as Aliots II. The first coins were made of electrum, an alloy of gold and silver that occurs naturally but that was further debased by the Lydians with added silver and copper. The largest of these coins are commonly referred to as a one-third stator trite denomination, weighing around 4.7 grams, though no full staters of this type have ever been found, and the one-third stator probably should be referred to more correctly as a stator, after a type of a transversely held scale, the weights used in such a scale from ancient Greek istimi equals to stand, which also means standard. These coins were stamped with a lion's head adorned with what is likely a sunburst, which was the king's symbol. The most prolific mint for early electrum coins was Sardis which produced large quantities of the lion head thirds, sixths and twelfths along with lion paw fractions. To complement the largest denomination, fractions were made, including a hecta sixth, hemihecta twelfth, and so forth down to a ninety-sixth, with the one ninety-sixth stator weighing only about 0.15 grams. There is disagreement, however, over whether the fractions below the twelfth are actually Lydian. Aliot's son was Croesus, reigned c. 560 c. 546 BC, who became associated with great wealth. Croesus is credited with issuing the Croceed, the first true gold coins with a standardized purity for general circulation, and the world's first bimetallic monetary system circa 550 BCE. It took some time before ancient coins were used for commerce and trade. Even the smallest denomination electrum coins, perhaps worth about a day's subsistence, would have been too valuable for buying a loaf of bread. The first coins to be used for retailing on a large-scale basis were likely small silver fractions, hemiobol, ancient Greek coinage minted by the Ionian Greeks in the late 6th century BC. Sardis was renowned as a beautiful city. Around 550 BC, near the beginning of his reign, Croesus paid for the construction of the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, which became one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Croesus was defeated in battle by Cyrus II of Persia in 546 BC, with the Lydian kingdom losing its autonomy and becoming a Persian satrapy. Topic: <laughs> Autochthonous dynasties. According to Herodotus, Lydia was ruled by three from the 2nd millennium BC to 546 BC. The first two dynasties are legendary and the third is historical. Herodotus mentions three early Myonian kings, Manes, his son Atys and his grandson Lydus. Lydus gave his name to the country and its people. One of his descendants was Iardanus, for whom Heracles was in service at one time. Heracles had an affair with one of Iardanus' slave girls and their son Alcius was the first of the Lydian Heraclids. The Myonians relinquished control to the Heraclidae and Herodotus says they ruled through 22 generations for a total of 505 years from c. 1192 BC. The first Heraclid king was Agron, the great-grandson of Alcius. He was succeeded by 19 Heraclid kings, names unknown, all succeeding father to son. In the 8th century BC, Meles became the 21st and penultimate Heraclid king and the last was his son Candoals died c. 687 BC, who was assassinated and succeeded by his former friend Yegus, who began the Mermnad dynasty. <inaudible> <inaudible> Persian Empire In 547 BC, the Lydian king Croesus besieged and captured the Persian city of Teria in Cappadocia and enslaved its inhabitants. The Persian king Cyrus the Great marched with his army against the Lydians. The Battle of Teria resulted in a stalemate, forcing the Lydians to retreat to their capital city of Sardis. Some months later the Persian and Lydian kings met at the Battle of Thymbra. Cyrus won and captured the capital city of Sardis by 546 BC. Lydia became a province satrapy of the Persian Empire. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Hellenistic Empire. Lydia remained a satrapy after Persia's conquest by the Macedonian king Alexander III, the Great of Macedon. When Alexander's empire ended after his death, Lydia was possessed by the major Asian Deitic dynasty, the Seleucids, and when it was unable to maintain its territory in Asia Minor, Lydia was acquired by the Atali dynasty of Pergamum. Its last king avoided the spoils and ravage of a Roman war of conquest by leaving the realm by testament to the Roman Empire. <laughs> Roman province of Asia 
When the Romans entered the capital Sardis in 133 BC, Lydia, as the other western parts of the Italid legacy, became part of the province of Asia, a very rich Roman province, worthy of a governor with the high rank of proconsul. The whole west of Asia Minor had Jewish colonies very early, and Christianity was also soon present there. Acts of the Apostles 1614-15 mentions the baptism of a merchant woman called Lydia from Thyatira, known as Lydia of Thyatira, in what had once been the satrapy of Lydia. Christianity spread rapidly during the 3rd century AD, based on the nearby exarchate of Ephesus. <laughs> Roman province of Lydia Under the Tetrarchy reform of Emperor Diocletian in 296 AD, Lydia was revived as the name of a separate Roman province, much smaller than the former satrapy, with its capital at Sardis. Together with the provinces of Caria, Hellespontus, Lycia, Pamphylia, Phrygia Prima and Phrygia Secunda, Pisidia all in modern Turkey and the Insuli Ionian Islands, mostly in modern Greece, it formed the diocese under a vicarius of Asiana, which was part of the Praetorian prefecture of Orions, together with the dioceses Pontiana most of the rest of Asia Minor, Orions proper mainly Syria, Egyptus Egypt and Thraciae on the Balkans, roughly Bulgaria. Topic. Byzantine and Crusader age. Under the Byzantine Emperor Heraclius (610–641), Lydia became part of Anatolikon, one of the original Themata, and later of Thracesian. Although the Seljuk Turks conquered most of the rest of Anatolia, forming the Sultanate of Iconian Konya, Lydia remained part of the Byzantine Empire. While the Venetians occupied Constantinople and Greece as a result of the Fourth Crusade, Lydia continued as a part of the Byzantine rump state called the Nicene Empire based at Nicaea until 1261. <inaudible> <inaudible> Under Turkish rule Lydia was captured finally by Turkish Beyliks, which were all absorbed by the Ottoman state in 1390. The area became part of the Ottoman Aden Vilayet province, and is now in the modern Republic of Turkey. Christianity Lydia had numerous Christian communities and, after Christianity became the official religion of the Roman Empire in the 4th century, Lydia became one of the provinces of the Diocese of Asia in the Patriarchate of Constantinople. The ecclesiastical province of Lydia had a metropolitan diocese at Sardis and suffragan dioceses for Philadelphia, Thyatira, Tripolis, Seti, Gordis, Trails, Salandis, Myonia, Apollonos Hiram, Mystine, Apollonias, Italia, Hyrcania, Badge, Balandis, Hermocapella, Hyrocasaria, Acrasis, Dalda, Stratonitia, Chirasa, Gabala, Satala, Aureliopolis and Helenopolis. Bishops from the various dioceses of Lydia were well represented at the Council of Nicaea in 325 and at the later ecumenical councils. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Episcopal sees. Ancient episcopal sees of the late Roman province of Lydia are listed in the Annuario Pontificio as titular sees. Topic: <inaudible> Lydian gods. Topic. See also Ancient regions of Anatolia List of kings of Lydia List of satraps of Lydia Ludum Digda Topic. References Topic. Sources Barry, J. B., Meigs, Russell 1975 first published 1900. A History of Greece 4th edition. London, Macmillan Press. ISBN 0-333-15492-4. Herodotus first published 1954. Byrne, A. R., de Salincourt, Aubrey, E. D. S. The Histories. London, Penguin Books. ISBN 0 14 051260 8. Further reading Reed Goldsboro. World's First Coin. RSP Beakies. 
The origin of the Etruscans External links Livius. Org, Lydia.